Hey everybody, Michael Snyder here, Pacific Northwest Weather Watch. January 4th, coming up on 1020 here in the AM. You can see we've still got showers coming on shore here today. And we had a thunderstorm outlook for Western Washington earlier. The convective outlook has since taken that away. There's still some heavier showers embedded in there. So you, outside chance of a lightning strike going on still. Uh, we still got precipitation going on across the region. You can see it mixing in with snow in some of the uh, areas of the Puget Sound here today in the heavier showers. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the satellite imagery here. You can see the cold air cumulus underneath this band of clouds here still streaming into the region, bringing light precip to the eastern portions of the state and still grading snow through the Cascades all up into BC. And you can see this is basically an extension of the next system coming out here. It's a much warmer system out here. And here is the warm front. But on the north side of this warm front resides the cold air, and especially in British Columbia. So we're going to take a look at that here, too. And we'll go over some snow totals for the region. And we'll look at this storm coming in for Wednesday night. It looks pretty significant for some areas. So stay with me here. Here is the RAP model. And this is for Tuesday afternoon, about 6 p.m. here. You can see Bellingham is below freezing, Seattle just above. And the freezing line is right there in the foothill communities. Places like North Bend, Buckley could get a good snow event out of this. And we're looking at, oh, there's a winter storm watch up for the San Juan County and Whatcom County areas up there. We'll look at that too here shortly. Putting this into motion here, it comes into Wednesday morning. Now you can see it drops Seattle below freezing for a bit. Look at Bellingham, nice and cold, 22 degrees. Eastern Washington, chilly everywhere, just above freezing at, through the uh, Columbia River Valley there. As we go in further, it warms up a bit on Wednesday for Bellingham. Seattle goes above freezing here too. Those foothill communities though, you can see the temperature drop back down until Wednesday night. It gets close to Seattle. And we're going to have to watch for precipitation type at this point. We'll go over that in a minute, too. We'll look at the NAM 3KM high resolution. It's been doing pretty good. And check out Bellingham, 27 degrees now. You can see it really cooled down. Eastern Washington dropping, too. And, you know, the some of the, the wrap is kind of showing that San Juan County doesn't really drop back below freezing. So I'm kind of wondering about that winter storm warning there. But that's what the National Weather Service has for now. And then you can see uh, Thursday morning, Bellingham's warmed up above freezing there and i think that might be scouring that cold air out a bit early so we're gonna have to watch that we have tomorrow to look at that in more detail and we'll go over the her on that one too tomorrow but check out the oregon coast here how much it warms up there look at those some 50s moving into the oregon coast you can see that tongue of warm air moving up the washington coast start to move into the willamette valley look at that uh all the way up to 50 degrees up towards portland there um starting to get to the mid 40s for seattle look at that nice it's going to feel warm compared to what we had going on here you can see that warmth extending through the, the gorge and clumber river valley there and most of eastern washington stays cold though you can see a lot of eastern washington starts to warm up here so let's look in a little bit more detail here is the nam 3km this is starting from wednesday morning now actually let's back up a little bit here and let's watch these showers coming through this is current i mean it's pretty sunny out there now so we are at what about 18z right there you can see the break starting there you can see the next batch of showers moving in you could get mixed rain and snow with some of the heavier showers there snow continues in the cascades portions of eastern washington and as we go into wednesday you see that next band of precipitation out here off the coast moving in this marks that warm front but there's cold air that there's going to be a big battle with in some areas on the north side of that and check that out it's coming in and it's trying to start a snow just north of seattle there Check that out. And the foothill communities, Cascades, all going to be snow. You're looking at a sketch at Whatcom County, that winter storm watch may be upgraded to a warning if that continues. Snohomish County shows precept for a couple hours as snow going in to Wednesday night. Looks like Kitsap County, we're going to have to watch that too. Some of those east winds can bank up against the uh, Olympic Mountains there, and that can trap cold air. And that can cause that precip to stay freezing longer. And you can see it finally scours out all areas except San Juan County here at about midnight Wednesday. And then Bellingham is still about one in the morning. Then it tries to scour that out. But you can see it's a messy transition. Could get some freezing rain and shallow trapped layers that are below freezing in the foothills and up into Whatcom County. So we're going to have to watch out for that. Freezing rain is no joke. 
You can see the precip continues into the Cascades and Eastern Washington is going to get a good, another good shot of snow here coming up. And let's go ahead and check the snow totals that the NAM is saying here. So here we're looking at now. You can see the totals build up in the Cascades today. It's showing a little bit. Maybe some of those showers dropping a little bit of slushy snow up north towards uh, Whatcom County. And we go into Wednesday morning. We'll see the next band of precip come in here. And you notice how it doesn't really pile up much on the NAM 3KM. So that's something we need to watch there too. You can see Bellingham 3 plus inches and the foothill communities are going to get it too. But And again, the NAM may not be doing well with this. So we're, we're going to have to watch this closely too. Let's see what the GFS says for temperatures. This is Tuesday afternoon, uh, this evening today. Check out Bellingham below freezing, Seattle right at freezing, then it warms us up, drops us back down into Wednesday morning briefly. You can see the freezing line marked here, and just includes the Puget Sound above freezing there. Look at Bellingham, has it down in the teens. GFS has not been the most reliable model for these features though, but I'd just like to show you what's going on here. Check this out, 20 in Bellingham, and there's some 50s on the Oregon coast. Big clash of air masses here going on. You can see the easterly winds kind of try to get through the mountains there and maybe banking up against the Kitsap Peninsula, trapping cold air lo there longer. And as we go into Thursday, the GFS keeps Bellingham below freezing well into Thursday afternoon. You can see Seattle, Tacoma South really warming up there by Thursday afternoon. And then by Thursday evening, all areas above freezing for western Washington, except of course the Cascades, eastern portions of the states. And the eastern portions of the states have quite a bit of snow coming themselves. Let's take a look at the European model and see if that's showing. This is moving into now. Shows us warming up just above 40 degrees here for Seattle today. Mid-30s up towards Bellingham. Look at the Willamette Valley, nice and, nice and warm by tomorrow afternoon. You can see that warm air starting to encroach on the region there. And this is when the next system is supposed to be rolling in here. So you can see the euro has things much more marginal, especially all the way up to Bellingham even. But it does drop it back down as the precip gets going. There's probably some dry air, some evaporative cooling going on there. And the foothill communities are going to be right on the border of that too. And places like North Bend, they don't have that much elevation, but there's cold air trapped back in there and there's a reinforcing east wind that can keep the precipitation going as snow or even freezing rain if a warm layer comes in above that cold layer. So looking into Let's just check out the warm front on the, see what it looks like here on the European, how well it shows up. So you can kind of see the warm front here. You can see the easterly winds and the southerly winds right here. Here's the clash. And it's getting pulled out towards the low over the Pacific Ocean there. And then you can see the southerlies just blast up the Puget Sound here starting Thursday morning, uh, really warming areas up. So European snow totals, what does it say? This is into, this is a 24 hour period here. So you can see Whatcom County, Skagit County areas are getting it and some foothill communities are on that borderline there too. Um, yeah, four inches there. Look at the San Juans are getting a pretty good snowfall here. So we're gonna watch that. We'll look at that in more detail tomorrow on the HER and just see how far this is gonna extend down towards Seattle. It could be an inch of slushy stuff, Snohomish County North or maybe even a, a start of a wintry mix down here in Seattle. And look at the eastern portions of the state here. You know, except for the, the lower levels here, you can see Spokane getting five inches. Some of these areas on the east slopes are gonna get good snowfall amounts. There's gonna be east wind coming up here and you're gonna get a little upslope deal going on here where that's gonna enhance precipitation. So let's go ahead and look at Spokane today, off and on snow showers. Significant snow possible later this week, especially Thursday and Friday, moderate to heavy snow at times. So watch out when you're, if you're in eastern Washington. Pendleton, Oregon, through Tuesday night, you can see the snowfall totals. And several more weather systems, like we said, are going to be coming through the east portions of the state. And this was for, I'll go over this real quick before I wrap up. Um, they had that outlook out for the coast and the interior of western Washington, but they kind of downgraded it and they actually gave a reason why they downgraded it too. So um, the lightning probably not going to happen, but there could be a stray strike or so. But yeah, so that's what's going on today. We have one more day to look at this uh, tomorrow morning and that should be right before the event is happening. We'll be able to look at some higher resolution models there 
And let's take a look here. Let's just look at what this is saying. For the winter storm watch, National Weather Service says four to eight inches, freezing rain also possible. Places like Gold Bar, Duval, Snoqualmie, North Bend, Buckley, Eatonville, Puget Sound, Lowlands, Snohomish, and Pierce County. And total accumulations, I said, four to eight inches. Travel could be difficult. So it might be snowing much quicker. If you're going across I-90, you know, it usually doesn't start snowing closer to the pass, but it could be all the way down towards North Bend like it has been recently. Checking out the, oh, this is a small craft advisor. Let's see what it says for the winter storm watch up in Bellingham. Same thing, four to eight. Bellingham, Sumas. Wednesday evening through Wednesday night. Plan on difficult travel conditions. And if we look there, winter storm watch for the San Juans calls for four to eight there also. And that'll be interesting. So if you're taking out, taking a trip out to the San Juans, you're taking the ferry out there, heads up on Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening. And you can see we've got the typical, we've got winter storm watch out for portions of eastern Washington, winter storm watch for areas like Wenatchee and Chelan, Ellensburg, winter weather advisory. You're right on the doorstep of that. And that's that may be upgraded here though too. And this snow expected above 3,000 feet, but I think that's gonna change. They're probably gonna bring that down to the surface and extend that advisory here today or tomorrow morning. So yeah, lots going on still. Got a winter storm warning down here. Southern Oregon, above 3,000 feet, heavy wind, high winds, heavy snow, blowing snow, additional snow, three to six inches, winds 50 miles an hour. So you're getting blizzard conditions again down there. Um, this, that's until 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time this evening. So heads up, you know, you've got winter weather advisories, you've got winter storm warnings here just south of La Grande, uh, Southern Blue Mountains of Oregon, 4 p.m. this afternoon, an additional two to four inches could fall. And we've got flood warnings also. There's some rivers getting high. So if you have concerns and are close to rivers um, all throughout the Oregon Cascades, check those out as well. It's also winter weather advisory through 6 p.m. this evening for two to five inches. Uh, Washington, Willapa Hills, Oregon, Coastal Range, Northwest Oregon. So heads up there if you're traveling out and about. Um, you get in the higher terrain and it can get conditions change rapidly there so we'll watch out for that but yeah so we have one more day to look at this event and we'll nail down the details more specifically tomorrow and i'll tell you what i think with my snowfall predictions by then as well and thanks for watching you guys and check back on twitter for updates today and i'll see you guys tomorrow thanks a lot